Upon receipt of an urgent request from the Mayor and City Council of Cambridge for the governor to call out the state militia, Governor Taws met this afternoon with me as Attorney General of the state and with General Record, Adjutant General of Maryland, and Colonel Kerry Jarman, Superintendent of the Maryland State Police, to discuss conditions in Cambridge and Dorchester County. Following the consultation with these leaders and pursuant to the request received from the local officials in Dorchester County, the governor instructed General Record to order to active duty the Maryland National Guard in such numbers as General Record considers necessary to cope with the situation in Cambridge, Maryland. Mr. Agnew, can you tell us what was accomplished today in your meeting with Mr. James and Mr. David Price, owners of Gwinn Oak Park? Mr. Agnew? Yesterday we met uh, for about an hour and 40 minutes and had very complete and cordial discussions involving uh, all phases of the problem, the legal, the economic, and the ideological. Mr. Price, does this pretty much sum up your feelings of this meeting today? Indeed it does. It was very fairly stated. Thank you, gentlemen.
proposal to raise the income tax uh, by one cent, making it four percent, and uh, to raise the sales tax uh, up to four percent is uh, just uncalled for. It's completely unjustified. This area of Baltimore and the surrounding counties are already uh, in an area that uh, is uh, overtaxed. Uh, it's one of the most overtaxed areas in the entire country. And to add 1% uh, on both these two big taxes would uh, put us right up at the top of a heap in our country. I think it's unjustified. I believe that something ought to be done to prevent these continual requests for unjustified uh, tax uh, increases. I've been asked whether I'm a candidate for vice president. I am not a candidate for vice president. I am a candidate for no other office. I am the mayor of Baltimore, and all of my time, all of my energy, and all of my thought for the next four years will be given to this job. Nobody has asked me, and I am not interested in having anybody ask me whether I'm a candidate for vice president or not. Within the past several weeks, uh, coin slugs, uh, copper in content, have been appearing in increasing numbers in uh, coin changing machines, principally located at laundromats in the Baltimore area. <coughs> the passing of these slugs in this manner is a violation of a federal statute which carries a penalty of one year imprisonment, $1,000 fine, or both.
Uh, it isn't uh, fair that the, uh, the, the, the man who's been bearing the burden shall have to get this added burden when other people who haven't been taking care of their just part of taxes are permitted to get away without paying their fair share, such as the Savings and Loan Association. I think this is the most contemptuous and contemptible tax proposals that has been put forth before the people of this state for a long, long time. And I intend to do everything I can to oppose it.
certainly with the amount of money being invested in the state fair, we want to ensure that Negroes will be adequately represented in the labor force. For this reason, uh, yesterday the Maryland Commission appointed Mr. Rogers and myself to talk with Mr. Nolte to ensure that, number one, both skilled and unskilled colored workers will be used in the, in the construction of the pavilion and exhibit. Uh, number two, to ensure that uh, colored citizens will be used as a part of the permanent staff that is in typing positions and all other positions open uh, as a part of Maryland's participation at the fair. And thirdly, we will talk with Mr. Naughty uh, in an effort to assure that uh, this kind of uh, fair employment for Negroes will be uh, thoroughly publicized so that Negroes can apply for these positions as quickly as they open. Uh, we are not uh, going to make any comment on the Cambridge dispute at this time. Did he say he would stay out of the Gwen Oak dispute? We did not discuss the Gwen Oak dispute. Did he promise to do any of these things you asked? He has uh, taken all of these things under consideration, and we are hopeful that we will hear uh, in the very near future as to what he will do in regards to the suggestions we made. No, no time limit was set. Did he say we mediate the Cambridge? Reverend Newbold, why did you reject the proposal of the Price Brothers to determine by the commission after the experiment were undertaken? That's correct. For example, we know what happened on the uh, bay boats when it was a virtually, uh, virtually a nightly occurrence that the police and police dogs met riotous groups that were attempting integration, and it just did not pan out. We do not wish to be adamant in view of the factor of public safety and welfare. But you did agree to integrate next April? Yes. 